Hi guys, welcome back to So Salio. In today's video, I'm doing a nappy bag review and I'm also doing nappy bag essentials through the ages. So keep watching to find out all of those baby and toddler essentials that you need from newborn right up to age three. So if you're new around here, then hi, I'm Sally. I have two little ones, two and four, and I upload new videos every single week on kids, cakes and crafts. So if you like that kind of thing, then please do consider subscribing below by hitting the red button to join the channel and to catch all of the new content that will be coming up soon. So in this video, I'll be reviewing the Lecky Baby, I think that's how you say it, nappy bag, which is available from Amazon, and I will link everything down below. They very kindly sent it to me to review and to help out with this nappy bag essentials video. So I will show you all of the features now. It has 17 different pockets. It is water resistant. There are waterproof pockets inside, I believe. It's insulated inside, so that if you want to put baby's bottles inside or a hot drink or whatever, it is secure and padded. It's got three different strap options, so you can hold it like a tote bag. You can have the over the shoulder strap or across the body strap, which I like, and I know my husband always uses nappy bags that way across the body or it has two little clips at the side which you can clip onto a buggy so you don't have to carry it around when you're out with the buggy. It also comes with a changing mat and loads of zippered pockets, loads of secure pockets. There are magnetic poppers on most of them and also a little hook inside that you can put your keys on, which is really handy because I'm always losing mine. When I first got this bag I thought, wow, there are loads of pockets, there's loads of storage, it's a really good well thought out, well made bag. But actually, as I'm using it more, I'm realizing there's even more pockets. Some are on the outside, that's cool. You know, put in anything that you need to get quickly that you need to have to hand in there. But also inside, there's loads of extras and hidden pockets. The main pockets right in the middle section have got this elastic edge on them so you can squish loads of different bits and pieces in there. And then the two big side pockets have got this sort of water resistant silver fabric inside. And I know with the nappy bags I've had over the years, they really do take a beating. You start off with this brand new bag and this brand new baby and you're so careful with everything. And then over the years, it's literally chucked in the back of the car, chucked in a muddy buggy, left in a puddle, wherever. It's got sticky hands all over it. And it really needs to be durable and well-made so that it'll last you through the years. So you've got your new baby, you've got all of your new items and you're facing your first few months with a baby. Okay, what we're gonna to need to survive. So number one is cowpaw. So when I was pregnant the first time, I thought I'm only gonna give the baby cowpaw if it's absolutely necessary in an emergency situation. I'm gonna try every other holistic approach. No, when that baby's screaming, you need a full bottle of cowpaw. This is the baby stuff. Okay, so this is two months plus. So I think for those first two months, you can't give it at all. So just got to get through it. Two months plus, cowpole, this thing, five mil, or I think it's 2.5 mil when they're little, five mil when they're a bit older, but cowpole is like life's essential for a mum. Also, if they're really ill, then you can also give ibuprofen, Nurofen, strawberry, children from three months onwards. Don't quote me on this, but you can kind of alternate them if they've got if they're really bad, um, but seek medical advice. On the same note, if baby's teething, I found the teether granules that come in little sachets really helpful. And also, I don't have it anymore to show you, um, but an amber teething necklace or teething bracelet or anklet or something like that. Some people swear by, I did use them. I did find they helped a little bit. Also on the topic of teething, this is a teething necklace that I bought when Felicity was little. I really like it. It's not too expensive, so if they sort of wreck it, it's not going to matter. It's got this easy release popper, and you can get them in loads of different colours. I'll link those down below as well, as I will absolutely everything that I'm showing in this video, by the way. Little babies get ill quite often and have high temperatures, so I got one of these little thermometers. They're quite cheap, just to keep in the bag, just to check, just in case. I had Felicity in January, so it was really cold and my lips were kind of chapped. So just for me, I had Vaseline, which is kind of the most effort I basically made most days. Vaseline, concealer, dry shampoo. Those were like my essentials for the first six months. And then if you're feeling really adventurous, you might want to go with some kind of a lip gloss. Again, doesn't really matter what else is going on in the face, um, but this is like, 
I have made it. If you've got lip gloss on or lipstick on, it's like, you know, I'm taking over the world, I'm getting through my day, you are winning at mum life. When baby's bottom gets quite sore, I've got this metanium um, nappy cream, you can also use pseudocreme, and then when they have really, really horrible sore bottom, there is this, the yellow stuff is what we just call it. Uh, it stains everything, it gets everywhere, but it really clears up nappy rash. So that, as you can see, that's been quite used. That's definitely an essential for a little one. Some babies are quite dribbly, so bibs are another essential, whether it's dribble or milk or you're weaning or whatever. Um, this is the only one I've actually got left now. Um, this little Halloween themed one. And also if you are weaning, these I absolutely love. You can get them in like packs of four or six and they're just stretching go, and they go over their heads because with mine, they always used to, used to take them off. When they get to a certain age, they know how to take off their bib. Um, but these, they can't. Spare socks because no matter how many pairs you buy, you'll either lose them all or you'll end up with loads of one of a kind. If you're thinking about weaning your little one, these pouches are amazing. We've used them for years from tiny babies and my children two and four and they still have them now. You can get them in loads of different flavours and if they can't just undo the tops and drink it themselves like a smoothie, then this spoon from Tommy Tippy is really good as well. It's got a really bendy top section and they can go in the dishwasher and the microwave. When you're out and about with baby for the day, you might be having lunch or something, a baby's getting grizzly, they need distracting. This I actually got free with some kind of baby pack. It might have been the Boots Bounty Pack, um, but this is really cool because it's got a mirror and they can see themselves, which babies love. Obviously for you, you're going to need your phone and your wallet and your keys. And there's plenty of room in this nappy bag for those kind of essentials for you, those purse items that you want to keep secure. Something that my friends make fun of me for, and I've done probably since a teenager, is live off cereal bars. Wherever I go, if it's a holiday, a day out, anywhere, I've always got cereal bars with me. These are probably not the best things in the world, but I absolutely love these. Alpen Light, 70 calories, you can get loads of different flavours. They're a bit like the Slimming World Hi-Fi bar in a way. Um, if you're on the go, they're not the worst thing you could have and they're really easy to just slip into your bag and take with you wherever you go. I like Jaffa Cake and Salted Caramel flavour. The holy grail of baby essentials is of course wipes and nappies. However many nappies you think you're going to need for that day, take more because the amount of times I've been caught out is ridiculous. You'd think I would know by now. Um, wipes also, you can get them without this plastic lid, which are cheaper, but when you're rushing and you've got like a toddler screaming and you've got your newborn and there's poo everywhere, the easiest thing is to have this lid so that you can just do that. And back onto teething. Can you tell that that played a large part in my early months as a mum? Um, we have this teething gel, this is Bongella teething gel, is basically the same as the Bongella you would use if you have a mouth ulcer. This is from two months and it actually says teething gel on it. And then this is Bongella Junior Gel, which is from three months. This one obviously hasn't been as used as this one. This video covers all seasons. So we've got sun cream. This is from Aldi. It is factor 50 for kids. And this is another really cool toy that I found, which both of mine loved when they were little. Really easy to shove into the nappy bag. It shakes, it rolls it's really easy for them to grab with their hands. And you've got your nappies and your wipes, but do not forget the nappy sacks. I've been caught out literally last week without nappy sacks. I mean, worst case scenario, you can just put the dirty nappy into a bin, but it's a bit disgusting. And there might be times when you actually have to take a nappy back home with you, I know. Um, but this is 150 nappy sacks. Again, with this plastic lid, really easy to use. And as well as normal nappies, I always like to keep a swim nappy in the bag just in case if we go swimming and then I forget the nappy, I know it's there. Or if I forget to put in normal nappies, you can still use a swim nappy, I think, I do anyway, um, in an emergency. Something I've always used again and again is muslins. You can use them for so many different purposes wrap them around as like a bib if you've run out to just mop up spills or anything. You can put it on the floor and use it as some kind of a rug. You can cover it up if you choose to cover up if you're breastfeeding. Um, 
all sorts of purposes. This is from Aiden and Ane. I absolutely love it. It's a massive one. It's one of their like giant muslins. I haven't got any of the smaller ones that I had when they were tiny left, um, but you can get like a six pack from Boots, John Lewis, anywhere. But I really like this whale design. Uh, Hugo's nursery was like nautical themed, so it tied in quite well. Um, but yeah, I've used this for all kinds of things. These giant ones are really good for swaddling up the baby as well. But again, probably one of the smaller ones to have in the nappy bag just for everyday purposes, but definitely essential to take out and about with you. So there you have it, my review of the Lecky Baby nappy bag and my baby and toddler essentials through the ages. I hope you've enjoyed this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe below to catch all of the new videos coming up soon. Please give the video a thumbs up if you've liked it and that will let me know that you enjoyed it so I can make more videos like this for you. And leave me a note in the comments. I would love to know what emergency situation you've ever been in with your little one where you have needed something that you didn't have so that we can all learn from it uh, and make sure that we've got those essentials. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next week. Bye! Can I say gin? Because I feel like that is an essential. One of those like miniature wines. No. Okay. Well, we'll just we'll just miss that one out. We'll miss it out. But but you could have like miniature gin, um, one of the or rhubarb gin, or like wine, just like right at the bottom, you know, in the zipper. Maybe is that just me?